All right, what's up guys? It's Speaking on Flicks. Today, I want to make a video about the films that I've seen the most. And these are only ones that I do own. And I was about to make a Punch Drunk Love appreciation video, which is actually the film that I've seen the most. But I wanted to make something that didn't require a script. So here we are, and I'll get into the list right now. All right, why don't we go right back to the one that I just talked about, which is Paul Thomas Anderson's Punch Drunk Love starring Adam Sandler. Um, there's a lot I could say about this, but I kind of want to get to the other ones and only briefly go over the films. But I find this nearly perfect, and it's just a film that I always like to come back to. I really don't entirely know why, but all I'm going to say is the Hawaii airport or whatever kind of sequence you want to call it is um, one of my favorite scenes of all time for some reason. I don't really know why or how, but it just comes together beautifully. All right, now the second film that I've seen the most is Taxi Driver. Starring Robert De Niro, directed by Martin Scorsese. My personal favorite film of De Niro's and Scorsese. Um, just an amazing film. Travis Bickle is easily the most iconic um, American visual anti character ever put in the film. And I don't know, there's, I can make a whole video on Taxi Driver and even Punch Drunk Love, but it's just a, a powerful film that will be timeless forever. All right, so I've possibly seen Punch Drunk Love 10 times and I've possibly seen Taxi Driver like seven or eight times, I really don't know. I've only seen 2001 A Space Odyssey three times, but it is my favorite film of all time and I love it. And every time I come back to it, not only is it more compelling, but it's just, I'm like, damn, this was made in 68. Kubrick really is the master of cinema. So I just wanted to quickly go over that and I truly just love 2001 A Space Odyssey. It's easily the best thing I've ever seen. Also, let me quickly go over Martin Scorsese's Goodfellas, a film that everyone loves. Um, basically, I've only seen this three times, but I've revisited and watched scenes with my brother um, in particular, like a lot. <laughs> so I just wanted to quickly mention that. All right, next up we have Quentin Tarantino's Reservoir Dogs starring Harvey Keitel and Steve Buscemi. So um, there's a lot I could say about Reservoir Dogs as well, but to be honest, it's just a really simple film, kind of like Punch Drunk Love, but not theme-wise, but just like it's short and simple and I feel like a lot of people could like it or love it even like me. So I've seen this a lot of times, like five to six times. I don't know if I already said that, but there we are. So I'm pretty sure I've seen this film, Lehane by Matthew Kasovitz, a lot. Um, I think I might have seen it like three to four times. But this is a film that I personally found unforgettable as soon as I watched it. Um, I actually watched it on Halloween, if I can remember correctly, um, or the day before Halloween. But just, this is the first Criterion I ever bought too, so I had to get it. It's, it's just super powerful, probably the most powerful film I've ever seen. And every time I come back to it, um, I'm just mind blown again. There's always something new that I find, and I really love that in film. Next up, we have the actual newest film on the list, which is Barry Jenkins' 2016 masterpiece, actually inspired by Wong Kar Wai cinema, not in the mood for love in particular, but, you know, that's I'm foreshadowing this because I'm going to talk about it later, but anyways, Moonlight's amazing, probably one of the best films about homosexuality, and personally, it's, once again, I mean, these are all powerful films, but Moonlight just... You know, i not gonna lie, I cry a lot during films and that's one of them. So, yeah, that's it. All right, so Wong Kar Wai is a filmmaker that I truly love and I do love a lot of his other films more and In the Mood for Love isn't even like top three or five even of his films that I like, but it is the one that I own and it's, it's just amazing. There's something that I really love about this every time I come back to it and it's one of the greatest romance stories of all time. It's beautifully shot. It's a wonderful looking film shot by Christopher Doyle, who's easily one of the greatest cinematographers of our time. And here's the last film on the list. Some other films that I also say that I've seen a lot, but I don't have is Requiem for a Dream, Full Metal Jacket, and Fight Club. All films that I truly love and actually films that I have on my all time favorite list. But I just do not own the films and I wish I did, but uh, I'll get around to that one day, I guess. But those are just three more that are also on the list. Oh, and speaking of this symbol right here, for any of the nerds who know it, um, I won't say the film, but I'll, I'll probably show a clip. But yeah, I, I've seen that one a lot too. All right, so I know that really wasn't an in-depth video, but I just wanted to make that and talk about some of the films that I've seen a lot and really love. So if you haven't seen some of these films, I truly recommend you watch them. And hopefully you love them like I do. But yeah, that's all I have to say. And... 
see ya.